Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a Trader Joe's haul for you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so. It's free. We would love for you to join our little YouTube family. If you're watching, again, thank you so much for coming back. Okay, our first category for today is going to be frozen foods. We're going to be making our own pizzas for dinner one night, so I decided to pick up these organic pizza crusts. Guys, you get two in a package. I didn't realize that, so I picked up two packages. So if you go, just know two come to a package. We've decided to have some breakfast dinners, so we picked up shredded hash browns to go with some French toast one night. And I really wanted the shredded hash browns. Dean wanted the regular ones, so we just got both. The boys absolutely love these mini meatballs with um, spaghetti for dinner. It's a win-win because they're really easy to make and they're always happy to eat them. I picked up these breaded chicken tenderloins for a quick and easy like chicken parm. Um, I'll just cook them according to the package and a couple minutes before I'll top it with sauce and cheese and we'll be good to go. On the rare occasions that we eat Domino's, I always get lava cakes and I've never seen these at Trader Joe's so now I don't have to buy Domino's and I can still get my lava cakes. Another favorite of the boys, they love to have these as an after dinner dessert. And you don't just frost them, just enjoy. These steak and ale pies, they always catch my eye every time I'm there and I never pick them up. And this time I was like, I'm going to try these. So if you guys have, let me know if you like them or not. I haven't tried mine. Mac and cheese, we get these every time. We probably eat them at least once a month, which is a shame because they are high in sodium, but they are so good. All right, let's move on to the refrigerated foods. We picked up a ton of cheese. We needed it for the make our own pizzas and chicken parm and it really doesn't matter. You'd think our family was like a family of mice the way we eat cheese. We're gonna have tacos one night and I must have my Mexican blend cheese with my tacos. I mean, if I'm in dire straits, I will use another kind of cheese, but this is my taco cheese. I picked up some sliced mozzarella. We're gonna use this for bacon cheeseburgers. We use it for um, sandwiches, grilled cheese, that kind of thing. All right, guys, if you have not tried the bacon cheddar cheese, you must go run right now and pick it up. It is so good. Um, I grated it and made it into nachos, and it was delish. I picked up a block of feta for a pasta dish that I make, two dozen cage-free brown eggs. Um, we picked up some box-like mixes for brownies and stuff like that, plus kids like eggs in the morning. If I want my kids to eat veggies, then they need hummus. And lately, beet hummus has been their hummus of choice. We picked up sour cream for taco night, and I have some potatoes, and I like to throw some sour cream in my mashed potatoes. Am I the only one? I don't know, my mama just made them like that, so. On to meat. All my vegetarian and vegan friends out there, you guys can skip over this part if you'd like. Much love to all of you. We're gonna have sausage and pepper grinders. So I picked up sweet Italian pork sausage. Chicken and sausage for a pasta dish that I make. I'm gonna try and record it when I make it this time. Every time I try, it just never happens. So fingers crossed, I'll record it and show you guys how I make my chicken sausage pasta. Applegate slow cooked ham. Um, Caleb decided he does not like turkey anymore. Just out of the blue. Gotta love kids. So we've been buying ham lately. This is a heat and serve corned beef. Caleb made this last year, so he's excited to make it again this year. Of course, I watch him. We are Irish, and this is being uploaded on St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day. Sliced pepperoni. Usually, we get this for, like, cheese and crackers, but this time, it's for our make-our-own pizza night. Something my vegetarian and vegan friends can get down with. It is time for produce. I got a two-pound package of strawberries. $4.99 is a great price. I think they're usually $6.99, so I picked up a big package. Shredded green cabbage, of course, to go with our corned beef for our Irish lunch. Mini pearl grape tomatoes. Um, these are good, obviously, for salad. Um, I use them in pasta dishes, and I don't know. They're just good. A package of organic whole carrots. Um, usually, these are for the kids, but now that we have a little puppy, she loves to eat these um, as like a treat, so she'll have some, and the kids have some for lunch. Sliced cucumber to dip in our beef hummus as a raw veggie at lunchtime. A couple of Roma tomatoes to have with um, our bacon cheeseburgers, and I like them to put in my grilled cheese. Green peppers to slice up and have with our sausage and pepper grinders. And some red peppers for our sausage and pepper grinders. And does anybody know why different colored peppers cost a different price? Like, why are the red ones more than the green ones? I don't know. Dry goods. Organic yellow mustard. Taco shells for our taco night, and these are my favorite taco shells. Old El Paso, step aside, Trader Joe's has the bomb.com taco shells. 
Kenya Double A Coffee. This is so good. I've had this for the last few mornings, and usually I'm a Maxwell House kind of girl, but I don't know. This might have it be. Milk chocolate covered mini pretzels. These are really good. I love flips, and they taste just like flips. Hemp seeds. Um, these are really good. They kind of taste like a nut, but they have the texture of a seed. Um, my kids really started liking them recently, so I picked up another package. They're packed with protein, and so they're just a really good way to start the day if you want to have them in a smoothie. My kids love them on top of bananas and in their cereal. Sunflower seed butter, usually we pretty much always get just almond butter, um, but the kids wanted this, and FYI, if you guys have a school that is a nut-free school, you can definitely still pack sunflower butter because it is not a nut. Skipjack tuna, I love the tuna from Trader Joe's because it is all whole caught for the most part. Um, skipjack tuna is also really good because it's one of the smallest tunas, so it would have the least amount of pollutants in it. Last but not least, we have our non-food items. I thought I would give the chunky chicken dinner. Um, it's premium dog food. It's a wet dog food to try. Um, our little puppy, her name is Callie, and she is a Boston Terrier, just like little Buster here on the package. So I thought I would give it a try, but it really upsets her tummy. I think she's just too much of a puppy. So after one time, we just threw out the rest. I don't think she's really ready for it yet, and I feel bad that I made her try it. The boys are still using a fluoride-free toothpaste, and we have been buying them this forever. Recently, they have been doing the toothpaste on their own, so of course they waste a ton of it, but I keep saying, independent, Shirley, you have to foster independence, right? <laughs> Y'all made it to the end. If you are still here, you are amazing. You are my ride or die. Don't forget to leave the word fun in the comments below. That way I know that you made it all the way to the end. I want to thank you guys for watching. As y'all know, I love you to the moon and back. God bless.